fallen well below where they should be, according to a report today from the Central Bank of Ireland. It claims that property prices may have overcorrected by up to 26% compared with their fundamental value. In a report today, the bank suggests a lack of consumer confidence and expectations about further price falls are holding back purchases. But it also points out that prices are being depressed by a lack of mortgage finance from the banks. Today's report by the central bank is of huge interest to Matthew Fitzpatrick and his wife, who have held off buying a property for more than three years. The report, based on the bank's analysis of economic models, suggests that property prices here have been overcorrected by up to 26%. Definitely glad we didn't buy, I suppose, over the last four or five, six years, but certainly uh, I don't think we'd see ourselves as strategic, but yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think we held off for a time that we saw the market was low enough, and you know we see that as a good opportunity now. The central bank report says that the severity of the Irish property collapse is significant by international standards and is second to Japan in depth. I thought it was interesting that Ireland has overshot on the way down. This is incredibly common in countries that have big property busts. What we're really missing now though is confidence and credit because without those two ingredients I can't see how we're going to change direction. The Institute of Professional Auctioneers and Valuers say they're not surprised by the report's findings based on their own research. House buyers have been afraid to buy because they were fearing that house prices would drop further. However, on the other side of that, we've got house sellers who are afraid to sell because they're just not going to accept prices that are available in today's marketplace. There are a large number of cash buyers out there. Those cash buyers are bidding for property. We end up with multiple bidders in a lot of situations looking to buy. So the market, to our uh, view, is strengthening. In its conclusion, the report says the decline in Irish house prices and the accelerated rate of decline last year pose a significant stability concern. So the question remains, has the market bottomed out? Well, the most recent CSO house price index does show that house prices stabilised in March. That's just one number, though. We'll need to see a couple of more releases before we can say anything definitive on prices. Rents have started to increase, which suggests that uh, households, people are still setting up independent households, and over time that should feed into housing demand. But really what happens in the housing economy is going to depend on what happens in the overall economy. And economic growth is difficult to forecast, so two house prices. Martina Fitzgerald, 14 News. The former deputy leader of Fianna Fáil.